On the lower east rift zone, fissure 8 continues to erupt, and overnight the channelized flow um, that was diverted from the, the main channel um, that went west of Kapoho Crater advanced to the ocean, and unfortunately uh, in its path it destroyed the Kuaokala Charter School and um, the Ahalanui Beach Park area. And there's now a new, very mm -hmm. robust ocean entry plume uh, near the Ahalanui uh, Beach Park area. So in all there, the flow front at the ocean now is about 3.7 miles wide. There, this, in this morning's overflight, there were no other fissures um, that appeared to be active. At the summit, um, following yesterday's early morning collapse explosion that uh, released energy equivalent to a magnitude 5.3 earthquake, uh, the earthquakes have resumed. There was a period of quiet, but the earthquakes have resumed. And currently, uh, the summit area is experiencing about 25 to 30 earthquakes per hour, which is um, this pattern is expected to continue. As far as gas emissions, at the summit, the, the gas emissions remain low, and on the lower east drift zone, the gas emissions remain high. And with that, of course, the, um, the VOG and um, uh, the problems with the VOG um, continue with those high emissions. Our next request from Austin Westfall with Hawaii News Now. Your line is open. Hi, my question is about the lava delta that's being built in Kapoho. I wanted to know if there's a, any chance that we'll see a collapse event uh, at that lava delta. Um, hi, Austin. This is Janet Babb with the U.S. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Um, that really remains to be seen. You know, when when um, lava goes into the ocean and builds new land that we refer to as a lava delta, um, how stable that new land is really depends on, on the pre-existing offshore topography. And so that's uh, right now the where the lava's been going in the ocean, it's a fairly shallow um, shelf out there. It's, it's not a really steep incline like we saw with the ocean entry with the 61G flow um, uh, earlier. Um, and so it's, it's hard to say at this point what delta collapses might occur, how big they might be. As this delta continues to, to grow, uh, if it continues to grow and push uh, farther out into the ocean, where then we do get a, a steeper drop-off to, um, to the ocean floor, uh, that's when things would become more unstable and more, more likely to, uh, to fail and, and to uh, cause uh, delta collapses. Thank you. From Sherry Bracken, Mahala Broadcasting. Ma'am, your line's open. Thank you. Janet and Mike, in looking at the map, it looks to me like you couldn't answer the question exactly, but I have had people ask, do you sense that it's approaching Pohoiki boat ramp? Hi, Sherry. This is Janet. I'm just pulling the map up here for us to take a look at. Mike, do you have any comments? Yeah. Hi, Sherry. This is Mike. Um, so the, to, for the lava uh, where it's currently entering the ocean to start encroaching on Pohoiki uh, would have to would require it to travel laterally along the coast, um, which is probably not imminent, but we did see that occur uh, as the ocean entry at Kapoho lasted for several weeks. It started to shift more and more to the south. Um, so there's no suggestion that um, a threat to Pohoiki is imminent, but uh, something could could develop down the road. That's a great answer. Thank you very or, much. I guess the other option would be, sure if other fissures um, uh, were reactivated that were more directly upslope of Poiki. Got it. Thank you. Our next request now, Michael Phillips with Weather Boy Weather. Your line is open. Hi, Janet. Um, my question is for you. In, in Monday's call, it was mentioned that USGS had assets at the charter school and that if the school was threatened, an attempt would be made to get that out. Uh, did that happen? When did that happen? And what was retrieved or lost? Hi, this is Mike. Uh, Janet, Janet had to step out for a moment. Um, I, there was an attempt to retrieve those. Uh, there were some batteries on site that were powering some of our monitoring instruments that were stationed there at the school. Uh, an attempt to retrieve them was made, but it was ultimately unsuccessful because the flow moved in too fast and destroyed our monitoring station uh, around the same time that the school was destroyed. Hopefully that answers your question. Thank you. What, was it a seismograph, or what, what specifically was the equipment? 
There was a there was a seismo there was a seismometer. Yes, uh, there was also a continuously recording GPS instrument. Uh, there was an infrasound instrument and the associated solar panels and power system as well. Thank you.